Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to a brand new edition of Embracing the Civilizations. Today, we are embracing Pedro of Brazil, and we have ourselves quite the massive Amazonian jungle that to live in. And it's going to be absolutely crazy. Going to be a lot of stuff to figure out as far as where to put where to put our districts, how to create production, how to generate settlers when we're just surrounded by jungle and there's nothing to chop down. So going to be a lot of fun. Going to be lots of great positives. Going to be some challenges. And I hope you guys are ready for a real fun run. Let's take a look at Pedro and everything he does before we get started. This map does look like an Australian Mindagi. How is it? It seems like every map looks like Australia. It's insane. Uh, magnanimous. After recruiting or patronizing a, a great person, 20% of its great person points cost is refunded. This is a really powerful uh, ability. It's not like one of like the most elite abilities, but it's actually quite strong. And when you, if you get your districts built quickly and, and start accumulating great people points... Uh, you get um, the four, the well, the tier three promotion on Pingala going. You get if you get the Oracle built for uh, for whatever reason, if you can ever get that done, you're going to be able to compound all of these great people points and earn great people quickly. Get the refunds, earn people quickly again, and keep getting that refund to get a head start on the next one, and uh, really pile up the great people. So. Magnanimous, really good ability. We'll try to be getting lots of great people points going, obviously, there um, as best we can when we build our districts. The Amazon Rainforest Tiles provide plus one adjacency bonus for the campus, commercial, hub, holy site, and theater square districts, and grant plus one appeal to adjacent tiles instead of the usual negative one. So, interesting stuff here. Rainforest Tiles provide plus one adjacencies to the campuses, commercial, hubs, holy sites, and theater squares. That is pretty crazy. Uh, if you can find yourself, even in a regular game, when you're not, when you didn't, you know, kind of manufacture a giant jungle in the game, he, he tends to have a bias towards rainforest. If you can find yourself a nice big rainforest, you can build some really great districts with Pedro um, by being stuck in that jungle. And I feel like since they introduced the lumber mills that you can put on rainforest, now it's a little bit further in the tech tree, but what, now that they've introduced that, it really actually bumped, in my thoughts, Brazil up the tier list quite a bit because it can be kind of detrimental to your game to be stuck in the rainforest and trying to thrive in it before because you'd be sitting there working a lot of 2-1 tiles and you can't chop them down or you destroy your adjacencies. And so you'd have lots of tiles in your lands that would be not that great and you couldn't really improve them. Now that you can improve rainforest down the road, it gives them a nice jolt of product productivity kind of at that mid-game stage before moving forward that really helps them out. So a lot um, a lot of uh, ability with that Amazon now. Uh, the Minas Gerais, uh, relatively insignificant as they come as far as units, but we'll just, yeah, not going to worry about it. And then we have the Unique Districts. Originally there was a Street Carnival, and then once... Rise and Fall came, I guess, originally. The when they brought in the water parks. Now you can build the Copacabanas. So we'll try to do some of that. The Street Carnival, a district unique to Brazil, replaces the entertainment complex district and provides not one but two amenities. And also unlocks the carnival project, which grants additional amenity when underway and a variety of great people points once you completed them. Which is pretty sweet. Uh, just getting just spamming again, kind of compounding all that. You get Pingala, you get the or you get the Oracle if you can. You have that magnetic ability. You build your districts. You get all those great people points going. You can run street carnivals in some of your cities if you want to just keep spamming extra great people points. All that synergy stacking on top of one another to earn those great people. Get the discount on the next one to start working towards the next one, and that it's. It's really quite a, a quite a big deal. So being able to stack great people points in so many ways and then basically the copa cabana is simply the exact same thing but instead of building an entertainment complex with buildings you're building a water park with buildings with all these special abilities there you go <clears throat> when you're inside the pouch literally everything goes <laughs> everything does literally everything looks like a kangaroo when you're a baby kangaroo 
inside the pouch. So here we are. And um, as you can imagine, we're going to settle in place. And we'll get to work on a scout. Which is going to be real nice. Now right into the gate, we've got a little bit of gold coming in here. And once we can grow and get the money, I'm going to want to buy this tile, obviously, to grab that culture. We're going to have a fair number of plantations. The goal will be, if we can, to get... Um, I've got some cocoa up here. Will be to get the adjacency for rainforests to our holy sites. If we can do that, we'll be able to make incredible holy sites. It's kind of the thing to do now with work ethic. If we can get um, some amazing, like, plus... Because, I mean, you look at it, it's... We get plus six for being surrounded. Like, say we put a, just as an example right here, a holy site. It's plus six for just the rainforest adjacencies. Then the ability makes it another six, so that's 12. You can double it to make it 24. All of a sudden, you have a plus 24 um, with the card on faith and production uh, holy site. So that will make our cities incredibly powerful, and have the tiles that we're working at that point won't even matter. If we can't make that happen, then that's when you run into the, you know, pushing your way towards the rainforest uh, lumber mills, essentially. So that's the idea. Let's take a look at the research here. We, um, it's a very different map, obviously. You guys, as you guys know, I like maps when you, when you start up a map where you've got a bunch of tiles that, you, you know, maybe a pasture, something to farm, which we got something to farm here. And we may have something to pasture in a bit. But, you know, stone to make a quarry on and, and usually have a bunch of stuff. But at this rate, you know, mine here for the diamonds is nice. We're going to want to get to irrigation, of course. And and that. So I think we'll start off with the... Do we start off with the mining or do we... Do we start working towards... I think we're going to go mining and then we'll go into astrology. Uh, hopefully we'll have found a, a wonder by then. And uh, at that time, we will be able to push on towards getting a religion, which is which is the ultimate goal. Uh, Nasus playing, how are you? Good to see you. All right, next turn. Let's keep it moving. Try and get some turns in here. Not being. Too talkative. Obviously, I like to, to chat with you guys, but I want to try to get some things done. Laventa is in the house. What is Laventa's ability, by the way? I didn't check that. Um, oh, yeah, the Colossal Head. So that's not really going to be advantageous, but it is going to give us some early faith, which will help push us on towards a Pantheon. Uh, Chichen Itza will definitely be something that we'll hope to target in a city, whether it's the capital or some other city nearby, we'll definitely want to build a Chichen Itza absolutely in this game. Uh, but yes, we've grabbed Leventi here and we're all happy about that. We've got a scout coming in three, growth in five. And we're six turns from owning that tile. So that actually will line up pretty nicely. We'll be able to save the gold really. Um, What a stick joy. The, the odds. The odds of, of it happening, right? What what could have ever been the odds of such a thing happening? One thing I will say, though, is I have set myself up a fair amount of challenge in this run. One thing I didn't want to do is... I think I'm going to go two turns into the monument and then go to a settler. One thing that I didn't want to do was have this um, have this run be super easy. Like I wanted to present some challenges and some interesting decision making because I think that certainly people uh, appreciate that. This. Getting a promotion to get through jungle will definitely be 
on our list of things to do. Because right now it's obviously slow. Yes, the jungle is... Uh, the jungle will be absolutely fabulous. Um, commercial city state here to go meet. One thing to keep in mind, like I said, and I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, I think I mentioned it obviously when beginning the uh, the video. The This is a slightly created map. It's a random generated map, but I choose one small area to create to kind of help embrace the abilities of a particular civilization. If you look, check out my YouTube, uh, this the third series actually starts next week. This is the fourth series that we've done like this, just embracing particular leaders with interesting skill sets uh, in as best as way as we possibly can. So we've gone to pop two, and we're going to grab the settler now. The and the most look at that! The tropical alluvial plain of the planet, and perhaps the least known area of the world. The least known area of the world. The Pantanal. Brazil's own natural wonder. And we happen to have stumbled upon it here in our little Brazil. And there's Muscat. Where's Muscat? Yeah, extra amenity from uh so I wasn't I just was just I wasn't even thinking Muscat probably wouldn't have been the best choice. We're probably not gonna have our amenity problems, but Eureka! So, two turns on mining, then we can jump into astrology. Uh, there's an embracing uh, embracing command, but I don't think it ta it won't take you, obviously, to Pedro, because we aren't embracing Pedro. The embracing command, I do believe, takes you to Wilhelmina. Muscat. I found him first, yeah. What do they want, by the way? An encampment and a trade route. Okay. Uh, 1K subs, congrats. Uh, actually, yeah, we're at 1,300. We passed 1,300 today. Uh, as a matter of fact. Which is a feels good man situation. For sure. Thirteen hundred. We passed a thousand like maybe six weeks ago, and we just it's yeah things have been going real good, man. Seriously, seriously, really good. Of late, experience. Are you kidding me? Well, what are you gonna do? <laughs> I was going to get that promotion anyway. I guess it puts me on my way to my second promotion. Nine turns on astrology. And basically, Pedro's command advertising. Uh, you could do. Well, actually, there's a space. Uh, you can see there's actually a space between embracing and Pedro. I, I normally don't leave spaces in my titles, but I leave a space there so that people would know that the embracing command is separate from the Pedro part. The ACCC for us. Oh no. Not the ACCCCC. Probably not a bad spot for a city right there. Can reach into the Pantanal. We grab a little culture here. Grabbing some early culture might not be a bad idea. If as a second city. You give us much credit. The A triple C. They don't sound like people that I want to be messing around with. I'll tell you that much.
When I think about my game, I actually never played Pedro in Deity, though. Uh, I haven't played Pedro in quite a while, actually. Um, but I do remember having a really couple fun runs with him in, Pedro, in, uh, in Deity, to be honest. All right, so a little early on, uh, on our government here. Or on our first uh, government cards, I should say. I think I want... Actually, we're two turns. That's not... Actually, no, I'm just going to grab the production, I think. And then maybe survey for a little while. We haven't found any barb yet. Um, no plans to discover a second continent. But another goodie head, however. And another recon unit. Uh, I need to talk to uh, Carl about that. I've been sending him so many questions and stuff like that. Recon units are... I'm getting recon units in half my goodie huts right now. I, I'm not sure if they intentionally tried to increase it, but they've absolutely ballooned it to insane levels. You don't want to know what the last C stands for. So we're working obviously the two good tiles. We're growing fairly quickly. Three turns we go to the banana. Preslav from the south. Barb camp came in behind. So we'll move in that direction. We're gonna wanna get we're gonna wanna buy a builder. And get some tiles improved. Hmm. Okay, a little desert here at the end of the continent. So press love that'll help us with the production of units. That's nice. Uh, I don't know. I, I've never seen, like, I mean, I've played 3,000 hours of this game. I've never gotten even a fraction of this many recon units in book good yes before. There's a 100% there's a been a change. Whether or not it was intentional or not, I don't know. Maybe they made it intentionally and then it's, like, over-spiked or something. They overcorrected, but, I mean, we are talking about, like, what was that one game, Moondoggy? I'm pretty sure I got four of them in seven goodie huts. And it's been like every game the last, since probably the last month where, or at least the last two or three weeks where it's just been like, holy cow, goody hut after goody hut, scouts and nothing but kind of bananas. I want to kind of block him from getting to my land. Can. Um, I want to search around. So, Pantheon time, and the big question will be Sacred Path right there. Holy Site Districts get plus one faith from adjacent Rainforest Tiles. That will be the one we want. Now, keep in mind, by the way, that um, once the land's inside your territory, you actually get plus one instead of minus so these are getting negatively affected by this but once this tiles are in our lands that jungle will actually count as a positive so some of these will actually start to get really good so for instance this one here like if you're surrounded by six jungles those will be incredible appeal in those jungles um but because so eventually as we grow our cities and get all the land inside of ours the jungle is, or the rainforest, sorry, is going to create a lot of really good appeal. So you could actually make an argument that there's more appeal to be had long term from the Earth Goddess. Because probably literally every tile owner in our lands will be plus two. Um, plus two faith. Because making amazing uh, sacred path, uh, using sacred path to make amazing holy sites, and then grabbing work ethic, 
is essentially the plan. So we'll go ahead and do that. Boost to mysticism. There you go. And I think we're next turn. Not enough jungle, you failed us. Either have both Russia or Scythia in your games. Russia's a tough one to compete against. I really don't want this guy to meet me, so I'm kind of fending him off if I can. So I'm a bit of a long ways from being able to put on the... Uh, Plus five combat strength against uh, barbarians, the discipline uh, card. Which is a touch disappointing. Especially when we have a settler that we're planning to bring out here. Hmm. Sitting here hoping they will change regard. Yeah, I'm curious about what they're going to do with that. Um. Part of me believes that they probably are happy that they've made it relevant. I think that they wanted to make a lot more relevancy in in the religions and stuff and make and try to make them a little bit more relevant in gameplay and not be ignored by people who are playing you know at a more optimal level or whatever. But it feels like they may feel like that like they may have overshot their their mark a little bit it's uh it's pretty crazy being able to have plus 24 production now obviously it only really works that way when you're exploiting it like if you're if you're actually physically trying to uh exploit the situation by getting by, by playing as pedro and doing the whole sacred path or exploiting monsa musa in the in the desert or exploiting russia in the arctic uh, or, or or perhaps a candidate or something like that. When you're just playing as a regular Civ and you're just praying for some mountains to get a couple decent holy sites here and there, it's not going to mean nearly as much. So certainly there's there's the whole focus on exploiting work ethic path, but then there's just a regular game path where it's like, you know, maybe you'll bake a couple three or four holy site districts you double that so you got extra six or eight production then it feels reasonable the fact that you can exploit it by using the pantheons is what really kind of sends it over the top right so unfortunately right now i'm kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place because i don't have protection i guess i could I'm going to see what I can do about just having this guy come meet him and then bring him in there. And then hopefully... I mean, we're super slow right now. Some goody hut there. Uh, so there's a, let's go grab that monument. And of course, that's disappointing. I grabbed this one instead of this one because I wanted this one so I could start eating up I wouldn't mind grabbing that tile because it's probably the first tile that we get. I guess we can just not send them a trade route until we've got the tiles we want. But being able to consume uh, for sure this tile and maybe even this tile before releasing them would be nice because we don't want them to eat up some of those really good tiles. Um, where are we? Okay, next turn. Right, so we've moved our way up to the Arctic. There's a goodie hat there. The boost to writing. Um, choo -choo 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 -choo. So I'm going to come like this and just see what we can do about hopefully meeting up. I know there was the scout somewhere in here. So if the scouts come this way, he could come to here. I may 
wait here for the warrior to to reveal this area before I before I step across. A little bit of a delay, but I think that's the smart move. Because if I step here and the scout's there, then I'm kind of position without a knowledge of astrology. Kind of hosed. Be nice to be able to clear that bar pot myself, but I've got a bit of a delay. All right, so you. I mean, he could be there. Taking the chance. All right, we're in good shape. We're in good shape there now. All right. Uh, let's grab that goodie hut. 20 faith. Really could have used the builder. Thanks, game. There's astrology. Let's jump into horseback riding. We are probably going to have to go ahead and buy that builder. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Problem is, okay, you know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm going to have to buy the builder. Let's take a look at what the districts are going to look like here. Um, give me one second, Kinshul. Let me read that dialogue in a minute. So, I'm trying to think about where I want to space out the districts. And one thing I was thinking is, if I were to put the theater square here, I could potentially put a couple of wonders here. So let's say I went with the theater square there eventually. If I were to go, I mean, the possibility could be there for Oracle. And in here, long term, who knows? Uh... Well, any, any wonder. It doesn't really matter. Any particularly city adjacent ones. Uh, could potentially even eventually be Chichen Itza for that matter. But what I thought was is what you could do is you would still get the four here for the theater square. And then obviously you would make it uh, you know four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you could double it eventually. So that would leave us with the idea... Of where do you put now if I put that there this this takes away that spot unfortunately right because I was thinking commercial hub and holy sites like kind of maybe in here nice to put them in spots where it's where there's no hills obviously but if you put something here it's losing an adjacency there right If you put it there, hmm. you could put it there. You'd have to buy two tiles. You could put something there. Um, probably going to want a city up here somewhere. Let's say if you put a city there, they're going to want to start building their districts down this way. <clears throat> you could always do a string of districts in some ways, although the holy sites are going to want to leave by themselves. If I'm going Oracle here, which I kind of like the idea of doing this, I can't... I could put the commercial up here, it would lose the one adjacency, but then the holy site would have to go like here. Or I guess here would work as well. The holy site could work there. And then the commercial hub could just go on the hill, I guess. You just, instead of going here, you have to decide if you want to give up the hill for the extra commercial adjacency. I gotta say, I'm starting to think I don't mind this. So that would mean, what was it, here? Because we've got water here. There's a oops. There's some water here, so I'm not exactly sure what's going on here. Yeah, I think I like this. I think I like this plan. So if this is the holy site, then you can go commercial hub here or here. I'll just put it there for now. It's on a hill instead, but like that. And then campus could go out here somewhere. Um, 
where exactly, I don't know. Probably not here, because they'd probably want this guy to start doing in this direction, so... Their holy site would probably go here. Leaving all this space. You could do the commercial hub here. You could do like commercial hub theater square, build a triangle. This theater square would actually be crap. You don't want to do that there. I don't know. We'll, we'll kind of take a look, another look at that in a bit. But I think this is a plan, which means we need a builder and we need to buy this tile. Because we need to chop that holy site out. So that means I need 70 more gold at 12.5 per. Probably about five turns away. Um, probably six turns away. We'll be too, we'll be close in five turns, but not there. Shoot. Because we've got the I. I don't know. Hmm. I could grab the... I could make a builder now. Save the gold. Make the builder. Go out there. Finish the monument while the builder walks out there. And then start the holy site. I think that's the plan. It feels like the goodness of the harvest explains where you have to take it and what oh yeah it feels like yeah it it does have that similarity to where goddess of the harvest was so good that you had to take it and now it feels like when anytime you're playing a game it's like it's too strong not to go out and use get a pantheon that exploits your surroundings and then uh immediately use that exploitation to get work ethic and and yeah no i agree with that it's it does have that feel because you can you can definitely for the most part you'll be able to get one of those pantheons and do some sort of of exploitation not obviously going to be exploiting it like I, i'm able to with the uh with the maps that i've been doing recently just for the fun Okay, so it does appear as though this guy's going to be taken out before I can squeeze in there. Unfortunately, I had a chance to step in and I didn't because I wanted to protect this guy. Which is too bad. Um, I need to clear this out. How much? I need like three more discoveries. Two or three? Is it 34? Yeah, two more. So if I can find a couple good yachts for him, he'll be able to fly around the map. Okay, uh, next turn. Yeah, that guy's toast next turn. And I've got no way to get in. Unfortunately. There's not a whole lot that I can do. That's my good hut, damn it. Um uh, let me think. What to do? A little bit faster growth gets us to working both tiles sooner. Three x that's so it's three turns. I guess the monument going faster too though. 
gets the tiles growing to this as well. Let's let's lock that in. Okay. One person started working on a religion. What might end up happening here is... Oh, God. You know what I just realized? Oh, my God. <sighs> Getting a religion might almost be impossible now. I, I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure how we could possibly get a religion anymore. Uh, we're going to have to 100% figure out a way to get more. I don't know what we're going to do. There's no science to be had anywhere. I mean, I can speed it up. I can skip this, which is two turns. I got to get barb kills. Um, Darth Dabs. Hey, how you doing? Thank you very much for the tier one sub. Welcome in. Stealth sub right there. That was a stealth sub. I, I don't know. Sometimes I forget about that when I'm like, okay, well, I'll just chop that out. And then I forget, because most of the time you play the game with the ability to chop down whatever you need to. But early in the game, I sometimes I forget, man, I need to get the ability to eat the jungle if I want to put the... That's the positive aspect. Free Envoy. Any chance we could get that kill would be absolutely fantastic. Uh, I still think districts are odd, but I'm getting used to it. Oh, getting used to the game, you mean? May I ask how you found us? You, didn't, you wouldn't happen to be somebody we found on the YouTube, are you? Is that what's happening here? Um, yeah, the districts could be a little bit unusual to get used to, especially getting good at figuring out which ones to put where and stuff. But, um, as you get used to it, I think you'll start to like it. It's, it's something that definitely distinguishes this game from others. And so, like, especially other civs. So people are like, you know, sometimes it's a love it or hate it thing. And there are people who will just be like, no, I don't like it, but. Came from Civ 5 and I found you uh, from searching on Twitch for Civ 6. Oh, I'm searching on Twitch for Civ 6. All right, well, there you go. Well, welcome in. Thank you very much for the sub. The districting is a little bit weird, for sure. 100%. No doubt about it. But I feel like once... Uh, uh, and or I raid, been getting into the community. Well, I appreciate that. I appreciate you getting into the community. Um, there's, it's a Civ 6 is a great community, so. You won't be disappointed there. We need to get barb kills so bad. Really disappointed that I didn't get that kill there. If there are no dogs in heaven, then when I die... I'm going to grab a slinger and see if we can't run out and start initiating some kills. 
I might get a kill here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take this. I'm pretty sure they're locked in, so one way or another, I'm, I'm gonna get a shot. The only thing is if they won't go this way, and that guy hits him. Hopefully, it goes this way, and I'm able to snag that kill. That's gonna get us there. That much faster. You get our populations up. Population equals science a little bit, so. I mean, I'm just going to have to hope that people aren't going aggressive for religions in this game. There's obviously somebody going here, but we're going to be behind the eight ball. We're going to be behind the eight ball one way or another, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. So there is the kill there. This guy didn't step on the goodie hat. I thought for sure he would. Oh my goodness. I'm never going to complain about getting a crappy luck goody hut boost ever again okay i probably will but still i i promise not to do it too much that is absolutely insane bonkers uh fantastic right there uh i'm actually gonna delay the slinger i'm gonna jump into a builder so we can have a builder head out there to be ready to be able to chop that when the time comes so i need i need to get bronze working to chop down the rainforest and I haven't been able to kill any barbs yet. Well, I got the one kill here a second ago. And then I got the boost to bronze working in the goody hut. So save me like eight turns of research that I might not have gotten because there's no barb huts anywhere out here at the moment. And it looks like if there was barbs in here, they might have got handled already because well, Aventa's over here. I don't know where Preslov is, but there was a scout over here at one point, and I never saw it again, so I'm not sure there's any barbs on my island right now, or my continent, or whatever you want to call it. So that, he couldn't have asked for a better timing on that one. Holy cow. That's a feels good man right there. So, warrior will just keep around in the area around our cities. Probably just have this scout head along here, and maybe clear out this. I gotta assume this is land in here so press love like that this guy's going this way this guy's fully upgraded by the well not fully upgraded but he's got both promotions so he'll be able to move real 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 quick this guy has got the one promotion like that and i'm going to go ahead and use the last one here which will give us the boost to craftsmanship and the irrigation boost which we're looking for as well which is good. Got some floodplains down here with some sugar. <clears throat> Got some turtles. them up I just love a builder right here <laughs> let's go goody huts let's go let's go is there anything I can do I can I can mine that amber I could send this one this way and then this guy here once I get irrigation I'll have something to do there until we have the ability to do lumber mills on Rainforest, the requirement for builders is actually going to be quite a bit less. I 
But yeah, this builder here will be able to get to there. Good timing. Oops. Uh, 11 turns. Probably in a standard age. Not much we could have done to ignore that, though. Other than not pick up goodie huts, I suppose. And the goodie huts have been absolute poggers, so. All right. We got through 30 turns. 31 turns. Or got two turn 31, I should say. Um, having this double bonus on has done us really good stuff. There's still no bards around. We could keep it on. Um, a gogi could spit out some units. We don't really need it. We're on our own island a bit. Um... I'm not sure. This feels like not much point anymore. We've discovered most of the island. I guess discipline when it comes time. There'll be barbs eventually. We throw that on. We're not going to be spitting out a bunch of units. Maybe we'll finish out that slinger in one turn, but that's not going to be a big deal. I think I'm going to go with this. And I think I'm also going to uh, remind Twitch chat. Stay right there. Thank you for being here. But it is time to say goodbye to episode one on the YouTubes. Thank you very much for being here. I really do appreciate it. I am loving these Embracing series. I hope you guys are as well. Leave some comments down below and let me know about any sibs that you might want to see embraced. And we'll have a discussion about it. And, uh, of course, like the videos as well. Why would you not want to like the video? Help me out. We'll see you next time.